two, one, go. At Aberdeen Proving Ground. Oh, one of our wheels isn't moving at all. Okay, now it is. A battleground for young engineers. They're obstructing our things. Obstructing. Challenged with designing, building, programming, and operating agile robots that can also function on their own. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, no. Steve, this is and the rookie team wins. Yeah. We these three teams of 7th through 12th graders meet every week for Tech Brick Robotics Club. As long as it's big enough to get the cubes. Completely run by volunteers, they teach the kids the basics to create robots for competition. And you have to pick up as many of these as you can and put it into the right sections on the lander. Lila Dobry says that's one of the ways to get points. And teams get pretty creative with how to win. It can have any combination of these and then the balls go, or the squares go straight through and then the balls go to the side so they can go in the right sections on the lander thing. It's her first year on a team, and she says she already feels much more prepared for a bright future in the STEM field. I think it like really helps you to learn things that you wouldn't have learned like through school. It may already be as uh, tight as it can go. But friendly competitor Jonas Hairston says that's not all the program does. At first I was a bit socially awkward, you know, not really knowing what to do. It has definitely added to my social life. There we go. Working. So far, each team has had a very successful season. They all qualified for state championships in March, a first for the Harford County Club. I'm, I'm nervous for it. It's stressful, but I'm excited. Now starts the really tough work. For the next four weeks is basically a mad scramble. What are our priorities going to be between now and, and the state competition? Jonas's dad, David, mentors the teams, helping them review what works and what needs to change. One of the teams is doing almost a complete rebuild because they felt like their previous design was not very competitive. That's Gavin Savage's team. They're building a whole new arm in just four weeks. It's more like a human arm versus their extendo arm that most people have. So it has a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. He says it's a lot of work, that if he wasn't involved... I would have a lot more free time. <laughs> but they all agree it's worth it. I feel like this can challenge my brain. You get to build things, and the robot also looks, like, looks really cool. In Aberdeen, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News. I think it's safe to say those kids are going places, I, huh? Yep. All right, the, yep. the Tech Brick Robox ha also has a Lego League for younger kids, ages 5 to 13, and a team specifically for high school students, and they also have clubs in Baltimore and Cecil counties. Some of them have organized an engineering showcase for the end of this month to get more kids excited about the STEM opportunities out there.